Welcome guys hey. to another World War Marvel. As you know, I'm a channel host, Adam, and today I have again with me, Sean. Sean, how are you, dude? Good. That's uh, good, and we are here to throw down some Marvel Crisis Protocol action. Yep. Whew. So, I did something new. Yep. I stole priority from you, because I think every yeah. game we've played, you have won priority yep. so far. every game. Uh, also, some, something new is an affiliation I'm using today that I haven't used yet, which is awesome. Uh, today, I'm going to be using the Brotherhood, uh, and Sean, you're going to be using Asgard? Asgard. Yep. Asgard, with some help, maybe? Help. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, we've already rolled off for priority, uh, which I have won priority, and uh, so I chose to do extractions, and the extraction that I'm using today is Fear Grips World as Worthy Terrorized Cities. So you place four Celestial Hammers, uh, shown on map D. Mm. You score one victory point for each Celestial Hammer held by a character they control during the cleanup phase. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then um, you interact with it, you pick it up, and then for each hammer that you have, uh, increases the cost of your tactics cards that you play by one. Mm. Okay. And then uh, you chose for your secure. Infinity formula goes missing. So place four serum canisters, their targets of opportunities, as shown on map B. Uh, you score one victory point for each serum canister uh, you are securing during the cleanup phase. During the power phase, characters contesting a serum canister gain one additional power. Yeah. So, gonna be lots of power on the board. Yep. Um, because I'm playing. Magneto and his brotherhood, and mm -hmm. they generate a ton of power, and they get extra power from holding uh, the uh, Infinity Formula mm -hmm. uh, serum canisters, and then obviously we're yeah. going to be hitting harder because of the hammers as well. Yeah. So I guess with that said, let's show you guys the board, show you the rosters that we are bringing in today's match, and get right into the game from there. And here we are with my uh, roster and squad uh, for today. Uh, so starting off with my squad, I have the Brotherhood of Evil, or I should say the Brotherhood of Mutants, um, being led by Magneto uh, this round. Instead of Mystique, I could have chose either character to be a ha use their leadership, but I went with Brotherhood and his From the Ruins affiliation. Um, and so... I got him with his two uh, terrain features, the metal constructs terrain features. I have uh, Sabretooth over here, um, and then Toad, and then Mystique, and then I have Dark Beast back there. Uh, there was a Dark Beast that went with the Brotherhood, so I thought, you know, thematically he sort of fits. I could have thrown in, like, somebody else that was three points, whether it be Shuri or Storm that I also have in my uh, squad, but I chose to go with Beast because I think it fits more, because I don't ever recall Storm fighting with the Brotherhood off the top of my head um, but no. uh, so the other guy is obviously Storm, Shuri, Okoye and then Wolverine and Cyclops my X-Men side of things um, with a little bit of Shuri and Okoye just due to the fact that you know Storm being Queen of Wakanda uh, mm. makes sense I think uh, so those are the five characters that I'm using today tactics cards wise um, I have I'm trying some new stuff here, so I got Magnetic Crush, so uh, Magneto spends 5 power to play this card. Magneto may uh, use uh, the attack listed above once this activation, so it's a Magnetic Crush, it's range 4, 6 dice, of uh, or 6 strength, and 0 cost to play, besides playing, uh, playing the, paying the power to play the tactics card. When creating the dice pool for this attack, I may destroy any number of interactive terrain features of size 3 or less within range 2 of the target. If you do, add dice to the attack roll equal to all the destroyed terrain feature size combined. Uh, super powerful. Uh, before damage is dealt, uh, other enemy characters within range 2 of the character target character suffer with 1 damage. I have Asteroid M. Two Brotherhood of Mutants characters may both spend 2 power each to play this card. Place one of the two characters not holding objective token within range 1 of the other character. I have Deception. So uh, Mystique may play this card, choose an, uh, an enemy character, I almost said interactive terrain feature, uh, an enemy character within range 4 of this character. If there is no other non-dazed enemy characters within range 2 of the chosen character, you may advance the chosen character its speed towards this character. So basically it allows me to pull somebody up the board and have fun from there. Then I have Field Dressing, Hand, and Med Pack for some healing on my side of the board. And here we are with Sean's Asgard list. Uh, so the four characters that he's taking in squad today, because we are playing 18 threat. I forgot to mention that, I believe, but playing 18 threat. Um, I 
or Sean, sorry, is using uh, Thor, obviously, for the Asgard ability, and Doctor Strange uh, with the uh, Soul Gem, and then Angela and original Black Widow. The other characters they has in his roster for today are Loki, uh, Hela, Enchantress, Rocket, and Valkyrie. And the uh, tactics cards for Sean today, he is using no matter the cost, so when a character declares an attack action during their activation, it may suffer 1 to 3 damage, and you reduce the cost of the attack by the amount of damage suffered. 1-2 punch, so basically if two characters are within range 2 of an enemy, and one active character can uh, initiate this card during an attack, uh, they both spend a power each uh, to get the one-two punch. Med pack for healing, as well as Odin uh, field dressing, and then Odin's blessing here is an Asgard character would be damaged by an enemy effect. He can spend three power to play this card, reduce the amount of damage suffered to one instead of who knows what. Yeah. So I'll show you the board next. So here we are with the 3x3 three three board. Uh, we are using the battle board from Battle Kiwi again. Uh, it is basically their foot tiles made out of MDF that you connect with little uh, slots on the side of them. And uh, you can lay out the board however you see fit. Uh, so starting off, we obviously have three buildings here. They're all size 5. That billboard, I'm going to say, is size 4. The Fisk building from Atomic Mass Games over there uh, with the construction set is size 4 as well. Um, and then uh, we have uh, size 3 Daily Bugle over here, size 3 truck, size 3 Bobcat, the cement mixer size 2, the cars are size 2, the trees are size 2, telephone booth size 2, and then lamp posts are all, oh, that lamp post is not in the middle of the road, um, lamp post is size 1 as well as the other scatter train, dumpsters are size 2. Barrels are size one, and the barricades here and here are size one. So basically, all your little scatter terrain such. Uh, we have a serum canister there, the hammer there, another serum canister there. So you got to go through uh, a cop car over here uh, for a serum canister, a dumpster over here for a serum canister, or uh, you got to investigate the Fisk building for a serum canister. Um, and then hammers are outside this building here, uh, in the middle of the street over there. Somehow somebody left a hammer laying around uh, in front of that truck, so, and then. Uh, beside the dumpster over there. So those are the objectives. Uh, so we'll come back with deployment next. Deployment wise, Sean has deployed Thor, Angela, good old uh, Doctor Strange, and Black Widow. <laughs> good old, again I say it. <laughs> uh, but Thor, Angela, Doctor Strange, and Black Widow back there in the center, where I have deployed uh, Beast, Sabretooth, Magneto, Mystique, and Toad over here in the lake, so, so I can jump across the board where needed. Uh, so we will come back with power phase and run round one activations. Mm -hmm. During the power up phase, I get to place a metal construct within range three of Magneto, so I placed it basically in this alleyway uh, here uh, within range three, and uh, that was it for the power phase. There was nothing else. We powered everybody up, and then I guess we're going to be jumping into round one's activations, which is going to be, uh, Toad's going to be my first one. Uh, he's going to just move, uh, do a double move basically, uh, so that way I can run up, be within range two of that hammer, spend his one power, interact with it, and pick it up. Mm -hmm. Black Widow is going to be Sean's first activation. What are you going to do, sir? Uh, just moving up the board, I'm assuming? Probably just moving up the board. Yeah. Probably Why not? Let's there. see. Doing two move actions with Black Widow, she's just going to come across the board and hang out near that Infinity Serum, I'm assuming? Infinity. Yeah. Okay. Or the awesome. Serum Canister. Right over there. Yeah. Right there. She definitely has the, the range to do that, so she's going to go around the Bobcat and go from there. So with that said, after Black Widow going over there, comes back over to me, I do have three characters that have not activated, do not have an activation token, where you only have, or four, where you have three. So I'm going to pass. Actually, I can't pass. What am I talking about? Funny thinking I could pass. Uh, I'm going to activate somebody. I think it's going to be Beast. Sabretooth is going to go next for me. What he's going to do is he's going to jump up the board, so basically to the other side of that uh, dumpster, like so, and then just within range one of, um, of that hammer, uh, right about there. Uh, then he's going to spend one of his power and pick up that hammer as well. Thor is up next for Sean. What are you doing, sir? Moving up the board like so? Okay. Yeah. 
I'm right over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I even reach you with a damn throwing the thing? No, you Probably can't. Not. Probably not. And spending a power off of Thor to now throw his hammer into um, good old <laughs> again uh, into Saber Two. Here's the attack roll for the hammer. Sorry, I can't even do anything. That is oh. a oh my gosh! Starting off strong, starting off strong. Uh, I blocked none, so he's going to take five damage from that. Ouch! And gain the shock as well. Magneto's going to be going next. I'm going to come over here with uh, Magneto and stopping there like so. Um, pretty sure I'm within range 3 now. Yeah, I'm for sure within range 3. I'm going to spend 2 power off Magneto to med pack Sabretooth and heal him 3 damage. After that, Magneto's just going to jump up here onto this uh, building as well. And then uh, have some fun with it. So, right up in there. Boop. And then that way I have a ton of stuff within range to do what Magneto does best. Another heavy hitter up next, Angela. She's moving along. Oh, don't do that. It's all good. And moving her up there like so as well. Angela's second action is going to be going into Sabretooth with a Blades of Ichor, which is uh, five dice. Let's see what you get. Uh, another fantastic roll. Uh, so there you go. You have a crit in there as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Throw that crit in there and let's see what you get. Uh, so that's four. So I rolled uh, two, so I'm going to be taking two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, then you do get to advance short as well. Yep. Using Odin Daughter's Might, um, it's two, uh, sorry, two power to do, and you are throwing that truck into a saber tooth over there. Yep. Uh, so it is size three, so that's four damage going into uh, saber tooth. Let's see if he can survive. Needing a whole bunch of dodges here, uh, I got one. So he's going to be taking three, which is enough to daze him as well. The truck, you said truck. Oh. Sorry, Sean wanted to throw the uh, Fisk building instead, so. Off that, I dropped the hammer within range two of uh, Sabretooth as well. So let's see what happens there. Mystique's going to be going next for me after you daze uh, Sabretooth. Uh, what I'm going to do is just move up within range one over here and pick up this hammer, spending her one power. And then uh, I'm going to move her again. She's going to move over there. Uh, actually, I'll just move her sort of back a little bit uh, just within range one of that uh, serum canister. So I have two people on it as well. Doctor Strange is up next. What are you going to do with Doctor Strange? He is going to... Pick up said uh, hammer. Said hammer. Sounds good. With a second action, you're going to go over there and um, grab into... Or, sorry, uh, land into the middle of all those guys there. Last activation for round one is going to be Beast, and Beast is going to jump up here in front of Mystique like so, and I'm going to see if I have anybody else in range at this point in time to do anything, which I don't. Um, so he's just going to jump up again, and uh, yeah, he's going to grab the uh, hammer there, spending his one power. Going into round one uh, cleanup phase, uh, Sean, you are scoring two victory points, one from that uh, Infinity Serum over there, as well as one on the hammer with Doctor Strange, so it puts you up to two, where I have uh, two infin Infinity Serum canisters, as well as three hammers, so one on Beast, one on Mystique, one on Toad, uh, putting me up to a five victory points, and we will be going into round two next after the power phase. We'll see what happens. Angela's going to be your first activation this round. Sean, uh, yep. who are you going after is the question. First, I'm going after Beast. Beast, makes sense. I'm going to do a Xyphus Sword of Stars into a Beast. It is a six-die attack. So yep. let's see what happens. Six dice. That's uh, four. Beast has some rerolls here. Or some hits. Uh, I block one, so he'll be taking three from that. Try using Beast's one power to reroll one of these as well, uh, so it's still only uh, taking three damage from that. I forgot to place the uh, Metal Constructor in the power phase, so I'm just going to place it there uh, beside Beast um, as well, so I have two. Uh, and then 
due to Angela's ability, Sean allowed me to place that there. So, and then Angela's ability from these Xyphus Sword of Blades gets her to be placed within range two of Beast, so she placed it there like so. Gonna be doing another Xyphus Sword of Stars into a Beast. Let's see what you get this time, sir. Uh, so that's four with a crit. Yeah. Let's see what you get. Five. Uh, beast, I hope you roll really well here. Uh, that's blocking two. I need to block another one. Block another one. I don't. Um, beast is going to re-roll using all three uh, power that he has to re-roll. So that way I can basically, what I'm hoping for is uh, he has stars and garters. So I want him to survive. So here we go. Uh, that is three. He's going to be taking two damage, which keeps him alive at this point in time. And then uh, using two of your four power, or well, more power now actually, because he did two strikes to throw that barrier into beast to try to take him out as well. Basically, when that building was destroyed, I forgot to announce it, but basically I put a power on everybody but Sabretooth. And then when this barrier is being destroyed, I'm putting a power on Mystique as well as uh, Magneto again. And here's the dodge roll. I got to make two of these, uh, which I do. So he is fine. He is still kicking. Yeah, makes three. So. Beast is up next. I'm going to do an acrobatic strike uh, from him into uh, Thor. It's going to be a six die attack into Thor. Okay. So here we go. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So let's see what that crit produces. Uh, that is five, sir. That is five. Going into Thor. Going into Thor. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to use... Oh god, sorry, wisdom defense, so you have six defense dice. Uh, you're spending two power, obviously, off of Doctor Strange. Uh, let's see what you get. Mm -hmm. So, is it physical? Is it physical? Okay. Yeah, it is physical. Six. I do have a couple of wilds in there as well. Had no skull, so I don't get any power. So, uh, you are blocking two with a crit in there so far. <laughs> so, add another die for a crit. You're blocking three, so you're going to take three damage. I'll gain three power as well. He's being placed right there like so. Um, next up, I'm going to do another attack. Going to be going doing a animalistic freestyle now from Beast into a Thor as well. Uh, let's see what happens. That is a fantastic roll. That is seven. Sean's not using the Hogos Hori Wisdom, so I have seven uh, damage going into him. Let's see what you do. Four. Yeah. Blocking three oh, that's with a crit. Good. That's actually good. Mm hmm. Blocking three. Blocking. So you're going to take four more damage. And that's still not enough. And instead of taking all that damage and having Thor be uh, dazed, you are going to be doing Odin's Blessing, spending three power off of him, uh, and he will take an additional point of damage, leaving him at four out of six damage on him. I then also get to do. Um, a short advance with him. He's just gonna move back straight, uh, far away, like so. I'm gonna push him in the garbage can so he stops there, uh, which allows me to actually do two power to do base our instincts and throw Black Widow into Thor as well. So he'll need to make a dodge roll uh, from that. And dodge roll time. Dodge roll time. That'll be off. On Thor, yeah. On so Thor? you need to dodge some of these. I hope you don't. You dodge one. You'll be taking two, though, uh, due to the fact that she is size two and is three damage coming into you. And she will also take one point of damage as well. Yeah. With that said, Beast now uh, has dazed Thor as well as finish his activation. Doctor Strange is up next for Sean. What are you going to do, sir? Discard. Uh, Field dressing. You got to be within range two to do that, right? Or or, or or is Black Widow paying it? You mean? Paying. Yeah. yeah okay. So Black Widow pays the the two to or the four power to uh, yep. revive Thor. Yep. Yep. At the beginning of your activation. Now you're gonna med pack Thor from Doctor Strange because you are activating him. Yep. Okay. So Sounds three. good. Yep. So that takes three damage off of him. Three damage Sounds off. great. I'm going to do a Bolt of bedev Bedevilment uh, from Doctor Strange into a Beast, so it is going to be six dice going into him due to the fact that... Uh, He's got a hammer. you got a hammer, yeah. So let's see what happens. So... Yeah. Yeah. 
and you'll be able to push him if he survives, which beast energy defense is only two, so uh, I doubt that I'm going to survive. Okay, so you got a crit in there. Roll that crit. You got two. I need to make both of these. Both of these. Both. I don't. I don't. So that is a dazed beast as well. And that is a dazed beast uh, from the Bolt of Bedevilment. And uh, Doctor Strange is going to spend oh, three power to do Allstars Refuge no. again. Deny that. Uh, he's already done it once. Uh, no, I haven't done it once. It's you just haven't? I'm not in range. Oh, it's range two, isn't it? Yeah, it's range two, but I'm not in range. Uh, you don't think you are? Okay. Maybe. No, he's not in range, so he's not actually going to be able to play that onto Thor. And going after Sabretooth with a Bolt of Bedevilment, I'm assuming? Yep. Okay, six dice. Uh, his energy defense is a three. So... Let's see what happens. Six dice, let's see what happens. Well, that's good. That's a lot better than... Sabretooth has eaten a ton. So you have a crit there. Yep. Which is good. He's eating a ton of damage. Alright, so he's going to survive. That's always good. So his dodge uh, defense roll. Uh, making one. Let's see what that crit turns into. Making one. So he's going to take four damage from that at this point in time. Uh, I don't have cover or anything else like that, so do you want to re-roll that or are you just going to deal the four damage to him? I'm just going to leave the damage to him. Okay. So if I roll that... So you do get to push him short, um, but I'm already in the building, so you can't push me any further away from you, so... Well, I guess you can push me closer if you want. It doesn't have to be away, I don't think. It's just a push with you, right? No, I'm, I'm just... Yeah. Thinking. Sabretooth uh, is going to do his aggressive ability to... Uh, is it advance or push short? Uh, advance short towards the attacking character, so basically straight up uh, like so. Uh, and then uh, he's going to spend two power to do a claw slash into Doctor Strange. Five dice going into Doctor Strange. Are you using Hogos for your wisdom? Yes, I am. Okay, so using a couple of power to do that. Yeah. Uh, yep, so here we go with my... That's going to be a block. Uh, I do have two crits in there, so that's two. Uh, going to be three going into you. It's physical, so... So five. Yep. Blocking two. With two crits, so you get to add two more dice. And the crit rolls, uh, you're going to be taking a damage from that, unless you want to re-roll that and try take for... Two damage is fine. Well, you're, you're going to be taking one damage, that's one it. One damage. So, yeah. Okay. So I'll gain a power from that. And then uh, you also... Uh, that is it. No pierce, no bleed, no nothing. Sabretooth is going to be next for me. Uh, he's going to do a move action, um, because he has not activated yet. And he's going to come over here like so, and he's going to spend one to pick up that hammer. After moving there and picking up that hammer, I am going to do a 10 die Savage Predator by spending three power to do No Mercy, which gives me two dice, plus the hammer gives me a third die, and seven dice normally. Um, so let's see what I get. 10 dice into Thor. Let's see, because he has two damage on him, I get uh, two uh, additional dice from No Mercy. So here we go. Uh, so that is four as well. Uh, so additional, so that is five going into a Thor at this point in time. And I do have my finisher, which is a wild and a hit as well. Okay. You are blocking. Oh, you did use Horgoth's Hor Hor Hori Wisdom. Yeah. I didn't say that. I do apologize. And uh, it blocked nothing. And it blocked nothing. So you're going to be taking five damage onto a Thor, which will daze him because you weren't able to get the, uh, you didn't do the healing. <laughs> so after that, after dazing Thor, uh, I do have a finisher because I rolled a hit in a wild in that Savage Predator attack. Uh, so after this attack is resolved, this character may make a Claw Slash attack. This character may reroll any number of attack dice during that attack. So I'm going to do the Claw Slash into, um, into, who do I want to go into? into Black Widow, because she's the only one left to activate, right? right so, another... So, Hogos Hori Wisdom. Wisdom. Okay, so I have uh, six dice here. Let's see what happens. Uh, so that is four so far, with two, um, two criticals. So the criticals turn into that. So, let's see what happens. 
So you are blocking. You got two crits as well, which is really nice. Yeah. So add in two more dice. Those, I think, are blanks because you have martial artists as well, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so you're going to be taking uh, one, but I do get two rerolls, and I had two that were uh, I was able to reroll that did not get any hits. So let's see. Uh, so far, you're sitting on one damage from this, mm -hmm. uh, and those rerolls turn into blocks, so nothing else. Want, want, want. You do get the bleed effect though on uh, Black Widow, and I would say Pierce, but your blanks count anyway, so it doesn't matter. Next, Black Widow is going to be doing her basic strike into Sabretooth, uh, who did heal a point of damage at the end of his activation during, due to healing factor 1. Let's see what you get on your strike. Uh, 1? Uh, you do have a wild effect, which I think I lose a power, but uh, I block it as well. Uh, no damage dealt, just power lost. Uh, so what are you going to do now? I'm going to do it again. Okay, sounds good. Go ahead, sir. There's no point of moving anywhere because... Nah, you want to try to take him out, right? So, uh, so that's one with a crit. So let's see what that crit turns into. That's two. Sabretooth uh, blocks them both. Sabretooth survives somehow. <laughs> and Black Widow now gains the uh, bleed, or another point of damage from bleed as well. So. Mystique's up next for me. She's going to do a pistol shot uh, into Angela at this point in time. A pistol shot. So it's five dice because she has a hammer. So let's see what happens. There we go. That is good. That is four going into her with two crits and two wilds. Let's see what those two crits turns into. Uh, that is six going into Angela. And yeah, huge. So you're blocking one? Yeah. All right. So you're taking five at this point in time. I will gain a power from that. And with that said, I also get to do that again because of rapid fire, so I'm going to do it on Angela now as well. So let's see what happens. Uh, that is only one. That is only one. This is all I need, though. That's all I need. Yeah. Oh, you block it. All right, sounds good. Second action for Mystique, I'm spending uh, three of her six power that now that she currently has. She started with four, uh, and then the pistol gave me two. Uh, so, I am now uh, blowing up the, uh, with Expert Sabotage, uh, this dumpster, um, which is within range one of Angela, so it will cause her two damage. Um, and it will knock out Angela, yeah. or daze Angela. And that is Mystique's go. Also note, I put a point of power on uh, Magneto and on Mystique again for that. Magneto's going to go next. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by spending five of his seven power to do a uh, Magnetic Crush. Okay, uh, Magnetic Crush, what that is, is a tactics card. And... Uh, I spend the 5 power, then I'm allowed to do a range 4, 6 die attack, but then I can destroy uh, vehicles within range 2 of him, or terrain, sorry, not vehicles, terrain uh, that is up to size 3 within range 2 of him, and that adds that many dice equal to their size. So that Bobcat size 3, yep. so uh, I'm going to destroy that. So it's going to be a 9 die attack into, um, into Doctor Strange. On top of that, I would get to place power on characters this turn, so I'm going to place a power on Mystique, on Magneto, and on to... say... on to Beast. I don't think I can do Beast, actually, because he's dazed. Uh, so on to Sabretooth. Spending two power on Doctor Strange to do Hogos for Wisdom, so let's see what this 9 die attack will net me into Doctor Strange as well. So this is a power attack? This is just a attack from a tactics card. So that is uh, four into Doctor Strange. Okay. Five. Yep. Uh, Not blocking any. You do. Uh, you do have the Eye of Agamotto, so you can reroll yeah, all I'm those. So you might as well. Might as well, sir. Blocking one. So you're going to take three damage from that. And yeah. Before damage is dealt as well, uh, enemy characters within range 2 of him also suffer a point of damage, so that would be Black Widow, so that would also daze her as well. <laughs> After that, Magneto is going to move, and he's basically going to, it's hard to sort of measure and do all this at one time, uh, but he's going to sit up here. 
like that, I think. Does that get me within range one of that uh, objective? Yep. Okay. Um, no. No, just out. Millimeters out, but that's okay. Uh, well, it is what it is, say la vie. Uh, I'm now going to spend his three power that he has on him to uh, destroy that truck. I'm going to throw it, pick it up, and throw it into Doctor Strange, who now needs to make a dodge test. Because he had three power left uh, at this point in time, I guess, yeah. Whoa, that's good. Two crits. Yeah. See those crits turn into? No, add another one. Yeah. Because you have two crits, right? All right, so you're going to take two damage from that, though, as well. Because you blocked two, and it's uh, four damage coming in on you. So that is a dazed Doctor Strange. And that is just going to go there after dazing and Doctor Strange as well. Clean up for round two. Sean, you're not going up any victory points at this point in time. Because nope. you have no uh, serum canisters. And Toad's just hanging out there. I forgot to mention it, but he's not moving because he's just scoring two victory points a turn um, <laughs> for me. But uh, So you're not going up any. Uh, Mystique is going here. She has a hammer as well as a... Um, uh, the serum canister, Toad's over there with serum canister and hammer. Uh, we got Sabertooth with a hammer over there. Uh, so I'm going to be going up five victory points up to ten at this point in time because I have three hammers as well as uh, two serum canisters. So we'll come back into round three next. Angela's up first. What are you going to do with her, I wonder? First action for Angela is going to be a Blades of Icker into Magneto. I'm going to spend two power to do my Force Projection, uh, which allows me to use my Mystic Defense instead of his uh, Energy Defense on this one. So let's see what your five dice becomes. That's good. That's four with crit. Let's see what that crit turns into. Will it turn into another one? No, so four. Okay, Magneto here is blocking two, so he'll take two from that. Second action for Angela is going to be a Heaven's Wrath. Uh, it is a range three, strength four attack, but you get to add dice equal to uh, my size, which I am only size two, um, into Magneto as well. And I am force projecting again with Magneto to try to give him some extra defense using his mystical defense now. Okay. Let's see what happens. That's three crits in a wild. I did say you were probably going to get a cleave, right? Yep. Guess what just happened? I got it. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Let's, Let's see. see. Nothing. Nothing. I still need one more. Okay. Throw it. Well, you got another one back there, so. So that's five. Uh, I am blocking one, so I'll be taking four, which is enough to daze uh, Magneto. Then using Odin's Daughter's Might to throw that uh, con construct into Beast. Um, Beast does have four dice to dodge this. It is physical, so let's see. Uh, I'm blocking two so far. I'm blocking two. Uh, I will take the one point of damage, and that will be destroyed as well. And you are picking up that hammer that is behind Beast as well. I'm putting it on Angela. Beginning of my activation and my turn, I'm going to spend the now four power on Beast because he destroyed that terrain feature and I gave him a power to field dress Magneto as well. Um, and then I'm going to activate Magneto. All right, so activating um, good uh, uh, Magneto here, what I'm going to be doing is uh, spending two power off him and three power off Sabretooth because Sabretooth has a hammer uh, to play Asteroid M, which allows me to have two characters normally to spend uh, two power each and then place one of the two characters not holding objective within one range one of the other character. So Magneto is going to be brought over to the board uh, and he is going to be placed within range one of Sabretooth. And I'm being placed there like so, uh, within range 1 of Sabretooth, and uh, within striking range of everybody else, basically. Gonna go after Thor now. I'm gonna start off with a reverse polarity. It's a 6 die attack, uh, and I get... To, uh, yeah, you're gonna do Hogoth's Hori Wisdom from Doctor Strange, using 2 of his power. It of his 10. Uh, it is a uh, physical attack. Let's see if I can get some uh, good old damage going here. So that is four with a crit. That is four with a in total. Okay. 
I do get to reroll two of those. So you're blocking four. Add that crit in there as well. Uh, so I got five. You got five. Doesn't matter. So no damage from you. Um, and then I'm going to do that again. Because why not? And I'm going to do another... Whole Goss Wisdom. Wisdom. That's right. Uh, so that is two. But I do get rerolls if needed, which it's probably going to be needed. Let's see what you get into. I'm blocking one. Yep. Add that crit in there. All right. Let's see the power that I can get into now. All right, so that's two more. So you're blocking one, so you're going to take three. And you're going to take three damage as well. Or I'm going to gain three power as well. Next, Magneto's going to spend two to throw uh, the cement mixer with uh, Fatal Attraction. So he can spend one to four power and then choose an interactive train feature equal to the size of the power spent uh, within range three of him and throw it uh, along. And then each time I use it, I pay an additional power, basically. Uh, so throwing that cement mixer into Thor. Okay. Okay. So. Here's the dodge roll from Thor. Uh, you are blocking two so far with a crit, so add another die in there. You're blocking three. I'm gonna throw that garbage can that's right behind Thor now into him. That cost me two. So, you might as well roll another dodge. Another dodge. Yeah. Roll another dodge. Yeah, dodge it. dodge it. Yeah. That, I guess that is it for Magneto before he becomes knocked, or dazed, sorry. Thor is up next. He is going to spend six. Yep. To do a uh, God, God of Thunder. God of Thunder. Okay. It's an AoE 2, so you're going to do. Uh, who do you want to start off with first? Um, I want to start off with Sabertooth. Sabertooth? Okay. So I have three defense there. Let's see what you get. That's a lot. That's four with a crit. That's five. Sabertooth blocks one. Come on, Sabertooth. No, that's going to be a knocked out Sabertooth. Throw that within range two of them somewhere. Right there. Okay. And then uh, he is gone. Spending two on Magneto now to use force projection uh, to try to survive this. Uh, one is clocked there if you want. Alright, doesn't matter, so that's four. Magneto is not going to block enough, so he's going to be dazed as well. Thor's now picking up the hammer. And doing a four Asgard into Beast, so just moving over there, spending three power. And that was the last of his power. And so you get your uh, seven die strike. Here's the attack roll. Ooh, that's only three so far. Beast will survive, but he'll probably be staggered because you're going to damage him. Yeah, so that's four. Beast is going to roll his defense. Uh, he is dodging two. I do have one reroll as well. Um, so, no, I'm going to actually... I'll just take the two. I'll take the two power. You're not going to throw um, Beast due to the fact that uh, you would damage Angela, I think, more than him at this point in time. So Beast is up next for me. He's going to start off the uh, his activation with a Acrobatic Strike uh, into Doctor Strange. Five die attack. Are you going to use Whole Goss for your Wisdom? Um, yes. Okay. So five dice. Let's see what I get. Uh, that is only two, sir. That is only two. And I do get into power from that as well because of uh, disconcerting yet provocative. So you're attacking him. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Yeah. So five dice. Yeah. You are blocking him. And you gain a power back from that as well because of your shield. Yeah. Right. And doing that again, let's see what happens. I'll say again. Yeah. That is better. That's two crits and a hit. Uh, you're blocking two so far. Mm -hmm. Add that crit in there. Add your yeah. Person. Nothing. So it's three. All right. So you're taking one point of damage at this point in time, and I will gain a power as well. Next up, I'm spending two power off Beast to uh, do uh, Baser Instincts. 
which allows me to throw a character or a uh, an interactive terrain feature size two or less uh, short. So I'm just gonna throw Thor back here like so until he collides. Okay, okay like that. Then you need to make a dodge roll with Doctor Strange. Three dice. Here we go. Yeah, just three dice. And you do roll a crit in there, which is nice. Mm -hmm. You're blocking two, so you're going to only take one, and Thor will also take one. Doctor Strange is next for Sean. What are you going to do with him? He is going to do his... Bolt of Bedevilment. Bolt of Bedevilment. Into Beast. Beast. Sounds good. Uh, it is five dice versus my two energy. Woo! Here we go. Let's see what happens. Well, I like that. Yeah. Okay, so you got one? I could re-roll. You can re-roll everything, but you got to finish first, so add your crit in there. Okay, yeah. I get my two. So I'm blocking two. two. I'm blocking three. So you might as well re-roll because, yeah. You got nothing at that point in time. That's better, uh, but you do one point of damage to Beast. I still got crit. Yes, you do, but you don't add that in again. No, 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 you don't add it in again, because it's only the initial rule. Initial. Uh, and you do get a power because you do have a block there as well. Opting not to push him there, so you're going to do another Bolt of Bedevilment into Beast. Yes. Sounds good. Let's see what you get. That's uh, three. Could do it with this. I'm blocking one. I'll spend one to re-roll that. I'm still blocking one, so you're going to do two, which is enough to knock him out. And you get a power from that as well. Using a superpower to heal Thor as well. Uh, using Ostar's re Refuge. Yep. Mystique is up next for me. And she is sitting on uh, 8 power at this point in time. What I'm going to do is a uh, pistol shot. Because she still has a hammer as well. So uh, it's going to be a pistol shot. So let's see what happens. I'm going to use... Hogos Hori Wisdom. Wisdom. Yeah. This first one. Okay. So that is uh, three so far. Actually, you can't use reactive superpowers or anything like that. Oh, that's right. So you yeah. can't. Yeah. I can't use them. Yeah. Well. So. Right. So it's three, and I get a crit in there. So that crit turns into nothing. Uh, you're blocking one with crit. Yep. Okay. Let's see what that crit turns into. You're blocking two, so you're going to take one, and I'll gain a power from that as well. But I'm going to do that again uh, into Angela 5 dice. Let's see what happens there. Uh, that is 3 again. Again, another power. I think she's at max right now. You're blocking 1. one. Uh, I have 4 going into you, so you're going to take 3 more on Angela. Second action for Angela now is going to be another pistol shot into... Or Mystique into Angela, sorry. So let's see what happens. Uh, that is 3 going into her. You're blocking one. one. Okay, so I had that crit in there. You're blocking one, so that's one. two more on her. So I only need to do one more point of damage. And Angela is knocked out from the match. And going in with that last pistol shot. Let's see what happens. Uh, that is two going into Angela now. Only two. One block. You block them, so she is alive. Just barely alive. Moving there with Black Widow, then doing a pistol shot. And I wouldn't test it. No, I, I'm healthy, you're not, so I would oh, still... Oh, that's right, you still win, yeah. so there's no point in going close. That's right. So, yeah. Can you go in there? Yep. Okay, sounds good. She's gonna shoot. She's gonna shoot with her pistol? She's gonna shoot with her pistol. Okay, sounds good. Uh, let's see what you get. Your four dice. I have uh, three energy defense. That is good. That is three with crit. Let's see what that crit turns into. That is three. I am blocking one with a crit. I'm blocking two, so she'll take one point of damage and one power. Actually, she can't gain any more power. She's sitting at ten. It's activation for me this round is Toad. I haven't really touched Toad all game because <laughs> I don't need to. I'm just sitting there. Mm. Just sitting there. I don't have enough models to challenge. Mm. Well, you do. They're just all on the wrong side of the board. So... Round three cleanup phase. Uh, I get four victory points. The serum canister there and hammer, and serum canister there and hammer. Uh, and so I'm going up to 14. 
uh, victory points. And Sean, you have two hammers plus that center objective. So you are going up another three, up to five. So I'm sitting at 14. You need to deal with both of these back characters yeah. at this round, uh, round four. Or else it's going to be a game over at the end of this turn. We'll see what happens. Off round three, Sean, what are you going to do, sir? I'm going to activate Angela. Okay. And I'm probably... You, if you wanted to do two attacks with Angela, like, who are you planning on targeting? Because your Blades Vicar is range four, and I am within range three, so you can do it automatically on her, right? Yeah. And the chances are you're going to take her out. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. Up to you. Using Angela to go after uh, Mystique, and so you're going to use your Blades of Ichor. Blades of Ichor. Okay, so it's one power. It is an energy attack. I have three energy defense versus that. And uh, let's see what happens. It's five dice for you, sir. Six, five. because I got the hammer. Oh, you got the hammer on Angela. <laughs> Six dice. Six, Six dice. Ew. Let's see. <laughs> That's two crits and a hit. That might be a mystique. Gone goodbye. That's uh, four. Four. Let's see what I get. I'm blocking none. So that is going to be a mystique who is uh, dazed. And you get to place that within range two of her. And you get to be, I think, a short advance short as well. Advance. So, yeah. So you could even come up here, grab that objective if you wanted to. But then you're sort of out in the middle of the field. It's up to you. And second action for Angela is going to be a Blades of Ichor into uh, Magneto now, who's also within range four. Uh, she's leaving, I'm assuming you're just going to leave the hammer right where it is? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Uh, it's energy. Um, I am, oh, don't know what I'm wanting to do yet. Here we go, defense roll. Uh, make one. One. Uh, one, so I'm going to be taking one, one point of damage. Short advance, like so, right there. Uh, I guess Magneto is going to be my next activation. And then I'm going to... I'm not doing anything else with Angela, so I'm going to go over to Magneto, who I is the could. only character that I'm... Yeah, you could, technically. But I'll let you do it. All right, all right. Uh, I do have five power on Magneto now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Shrapnel Blast with Magneto for my first activation this round. Uh, it's an AoE 2, which will hit all those people there. Because they're all within range two. <laughs> oh yes, we forgot to get rid of activation tokens. So instead of measuring from Magneto, I'm going to measure uh, from the metal construct that I placed within range three of Magneto uh, at the beginning of the round. Uh, and it is a six die attack into range two on all of those people there. So let's start off with... Let's start off with... Revenge. Black Widow. No. Okay, it is physical. Okay, so let's see what happens. Six dice. That is uh, three with two crits into Black Widow. So the two crits turn into nothing. So that's going to be three into her. Is it on my damage? No, no, it's it's a, a physical attack. So, right. so you get your physical defense there. Which is three? Yep. So that's one. one. And I block. What? What? Okay. So, one damage. Sounds good. One, uh, so you take two damage from that on Black Widow. Yep. And then uh, I'll go into, who do I want to go into next? Let's go into Thor next. Thor. Let's see what happens with Thor and his shrapnel uh, blast. So that is two with a crit. That is still only two into Thor as well. You are blocking two. You're fine. <laughs> Uh, I will do uh, Doctor Strange next. Ah, let's do Angela next. That is three into Angela. Are you using whole gospel wisdom? Might as well. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Angela only has one left on her, so. Yeah, it'll drop her. If I yeah, can. I got five going into it. Yeah, she's yeah, done. She's done. Yep. <laughs> And lastly, into Doctor Strange. Story Let's, wisdom. Yeah, whole god story wisdom. Yep. I got two. I got two into Doctor Strange. Blocking one. Blocking one. Get a crit. 
You might as well re-roll all those. Yeah. I have Agamotto. No, no, roll all of them. And you're blocking them all. And you get a power from that as well. And Magneto is going to do a reverse polarity into Thor, who's within range too, so I get to re-roll all these. And minus that, those two. Uh, so that's going to be four going into... Oh, sorry, hold on. It's going to be four going into uh, Thor at this point in time. Yeah. And you're blocking two of them, only taking two damage there on Thor. And that is Magneto's... Actually, hold on. I'm going to throw some stuff. I'm going to throw two bins at him because i got three power now. I do have three power now on Magneto as well. So I'm going to throw this bin here into Thor. So you can make your dodge roll with Thor now. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what you get. Block them both. Block them. <laughs> And then this one over here is going to do the exact same thing. Using all of Magneto's power. And you're blocking both. With that said, that is Magneto done. Um, KO. Or, sorry. <laughs> gave you the wrong token to put on him. <laughs> the activated token, please, sir. Thor is going next into Magneto with a strike. I'm assuming. Yep. Okay. Bam! I think that's going to be uh, doing a ton of damage to Magneto. So add your crits in there. I can't... Yeah, so that's four. Okay. I'm blocking one, so we'll take three. And his last action, he's going to do another one. Okay. Six dice. I will spend two to do uh, force projection. That allows me to use my mystic defense. And that's three. And I am blocking two, so I'll take one more. And that is Thor's go, because you're not going to throw anybody, right? And there's nothing in range for you to throw? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go over to Toad then and activate him, and he's just going to sit there and be like, chilling like a villain. Black Widow's going to come over here, pick up that hammer, score some victory points as well. Yep. Doctor Strange is next for you. Are you going to be shooting into Magneto, I'm assuming? Uh... He is going to move up okay. first, pick up the hammer. Okay. So he'll just make a little... Yeah. Move yeah. And then shoot me with something, I'm assuming. Picking up that hammer for one. Picking up that hammer yep. for one. So at least I have all the hammers. And that's uh, all but one. All but one. Toad. <laughs> Did I forget he's scoring two victory points too this time? Oh, <laughs> And he's going to shoot. Yeah. Bolt of Bedevilment, I'm assuming. Bolt of Bedevilment. Okay. Making it six. Yes, sir. Let's see what... I'm going to use the uh, Force Projection to help protect me. Okay. Use this as last two power. Might as well. Uh -huh. Oh, that's only two. I'll take it. I'll take it. You do get to re-roll, though, if yeah. you need it. But add that crit roll in first. That's three. And I am blocking none. None. You don't have enough to kill him or knock him out. So I just leave it to that one. Or you can re-roll and be like, let's see what I get. Yeah. It's up to you. Let's see what I get. Not that it matters much. It's the last activation of the round. So. Yeah, you got four. That's enough. That is enough to uh, knock out uh, Magneto. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. We'll come back with the after action report next. Because in the cleanup phase, I'm going to go up two. And you're going to go up, I think, a lot. You're going up uh, two. Three, three. You got three hammers three, over there? Four. Yeah. Five. Yeah. So you're going up to five. ten and I'm going up to sixteen. I couldn't went I couldn't have won another round, that's for sure. Welcome guys to the After Action Report. You just saw the match between my brotherhood of mutants versus yep. your Asgard and friends. Friends. So it was Asgard in the sense that you had Thor and Angela, but yep. then you had Doctor Strange who was sort of giving him the, his advice and guidance and protection. protection. And then Black Widow in there because of points. Yeah, so, points. Uh, what was your thoughts, Sean, of the uh, match? Uh, the Brotherhood have a lot of abilities, I find. Yeah. Which is yeah. really good. Yeah. Do you, do you find that uh, they're super strong and tough, or, or just they, they have like an answer for everything? What, what, what they have think? an answer for everything. You think so? Yeah, they, they move fast. Yeah, they do have um, 
they have a lot of movement. Yeah. Especially with Beast and um, Sabretooth. Sabretooth has a long movement, Mystique has a long movement, movement. and then Beast has that advancement upon his attacks and attacks. ambush and stuff like that. So And then Toad being able to jump around as well, oh, too, yeah. is super good. So objective-wise, I can get across the board yeah. pretty easily. Then with Magneto, he's able to literally oh board God. control. He's able to throw, Th throw everything terrain. around him. Yeah. And then place those markers where they also can explode or and, throw and throw and do yeah, even more yeah, damage. Yeah. So he always has something to use. Yeah, he around does. Him. He does absolutely. Now you had a pretty heavy, like, heavy throwing list as well list because as like well. both Thor and Angela, Angela could do a ton of throwing and throwing. damage. But they only so, can throw one thing at a time. Uh, Thor on a strike can do a throw as well. He, he can throw a character. That's right. That's right. But, but yeah. you have to have a character to throw him into. That's or right, on the strike. Item. That's right. But he can just basically just throw everything around him. Magneto just grabs things. that. What it, was it? A crushing. Oh, the crushing magnetism. Magnetism? Or something? Uh, yeah, I can't remember what it's called, but it's over there somewhere. But yeah. Yeah, yeah that one attack where he just like destroys things within yeah. range two of the like, target. I wonder how many times you threw stuff at me. A lot. A lot. <laughs> because like. Even little things like size one terrain. It's just like, yeah. oh, I'm just going to chuck that now. Chuck I'm that, just going to chuck, chuck that. Chuck yeah. that, chuck yeah. that. <laughs> but a lot of that terrain, because I was throwing it at Thor, it didn't do yeah. much, right? It didn't so do much, but it was still attack after attack after that was, attack. It was, it was, absolutely. And, and I liked that. It was just like nonstop like, weapons coming weapons in at you. Weapons coming like, at me. It was like a, a machine gun of terrain, basically. Yeah. Uh, and it was super fun. I, I First time playing them, probably made sure, or probably made some mistakes here. Um, Sabretooth was good. You knocked him out or dazed him pretty early, mm -hmm. but then him coming back and retaliating later on, that was yeah. super fun to see. Ten uh, dice throw was yeah, pretty... With, with a strike, with yeah. With a strike, yeah. yeah, it was pretty good. And then Toad, I think, was probably the MVP for me for yeah. this game because he literally did nothing, but he did everything. I couldn't get near him because I was basically... That's right. You I, would have had to sacrifice one of your characters, characters and, and bring him over towards Toad. And, and then he try to wouldn't even him. be able to make it. Because she wasn't even. If you if you planned ahead a couple of turns, you could have yeah, then. Probably. You know what I mean. But you you kept everybody in and and were attacking, and that was the, the thing that sort of like yeah. did you in. You know what I mean. So, um, if you took like Angela or, or Black Widow and a turn earlier or two turns earlier, maybe really? tried to contest that because Test Toad that. was just sitting there just yeah. grabbing victory points to a turn, and so we went four rounds, and so it was, he did he gained half of my victory oh. points for, for me for this match. So I think he did the most. Um, Mystique also did really well with victory points wise. Magneto did, uh, like, I, I enjoyed them all, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. it, was, it was super good. I didn't really do much with Toad, mind you. No. You know what I mean? But he scored a ton of points. He so. scored the yeah. points. Yeah, yeah it was kept good. you going. It was good. good thing. Well, match. You're gonna have to try them out sometime, Sean. Mm, yes. uh, or the X Men. Maybe we'll do an X Men versus Brotherhood match eventually. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Be, that would be pretty fun, right? Mm -hmm. Your four X Men or Brotherhood based right. off who you want to play, and I'll play the other four, and mm -hmm. then we'll, we'll go from there. Go so from I there. think. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Yep. Well, Sean, thank you for coming down, dude. I appreciate it. It was super fun. Guys, if you haven't yet, check out the Patreon link in the description of the video down below. Uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, ignite your hobby.